doing here mister I've come for you a mercy mission your poor wretch of a man lost his mind I've seen him at Raskeller Fork uh, my man my man's dead ball man shot him about a month ago shot him in the back coming out of a cat house gave themselves medals just like I gave myself to that poor bastard unless you've been to hell you ain't seen no man of mine then where is she who Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Oh. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gon' made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. Damnation! What is wrong with me? Someone don't like me much.
brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment. Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now I'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories as well as melodramas for the ladies and even some fantastical shorts for children young and old. I heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves' Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger, for real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Time to think about a different line of business. Hello, friend. There you go. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. a fine deal. This is all my daddy's fault. I'll be rid of the job soon enough, I hope. A fine transaction. The guns in my shop ain't the only ones need oiling, dearie. Fred, I'm busy. Nice doing business. For a bit. The marshal ain't no man in my eyes. won't regret a purchase. The marshal best step up post haste. Men starting to question his steel.
Thank you, sir. I'll pray for you. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gone made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Easy. I gotta ask, Mr. 
mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Some things I'd rather not think about. Such a lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs>
Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? <laughs> oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Yeah, you'll be needing this. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Get <laughs> 
see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> Damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> the stupid liars. The stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. <laughs>